Flappy Bird one of the most iconic games in the history of gaming. Officially released in the year 2013, Flappy Bird was easily taken over the video gaming community by storm. How do you play? You simply just control a moving bird by tapping your screen while avoiding the coming pipes. That's it. And for every pipe you dodge, you get a point added to your score. Now, while there isn't an official world record for the game, it is rumored that the highest score ever achieved by a person without cheating is somewhere around 1000. And today, we are going to smash that record. Now, as you probably could already tell from the first clip, I suck. At this game. From repetitive deaths to my highest score for over the past one week being 10, Flappy Bird has repeatedly increased my blood pressure way higher than Snoop Dogg on the recording session. However, there is one thing I do consider myself being good at, and that is programming. So today, ladies and gentlemen, as you could probably already tell from the title of the video, we are building an AI to decimate Flappy Bird. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, Divine, this has to be your most original idea yet. Well, in my defense, I've been watching a ton of machine learning and AI videos, and for every one I watch, I always have the exact same thoughts. I have got to try this. So, over the last couple of days, I spent most of my time learning and learning and learning everything there is to know about machine learning and artificial intelligence. Well, at least the fundamentals. So, I'm pretty confident I can pull this off. Alright, so here's the plan. We need to undergo four major steps. Step one, stop smoothing my alarm and get out of my bed. Step two, get out of my comfort zone, which means no coding in web, but instead coding in Python. Why? Well, it's because it's simply the number one language for AI development. Step three, build the game, using a Python game development library called Pygame. And last but certainly not least, step four, build the AI. And for this step, we'll be making use of an engine called TensorFlow. So without further ado, let's get around the components and we just simply check if the squares intersect. Now this method works perfectly fine, the only downside is its lack of accuracy because from the user's perspective, the images might not actually be touching even though the squares are. So to fix this, we need to max both objects. What that does is it essentially creates a list of numbers that represents the pixels from both images and then using that data, it figures out if the images are touching or not. This is known as a picture-perfect collision. I didn't really make anything to happen when the player dies, so perhaps just quitting the window will be fine. Now moving on to the fun stuff building the AI. How machine learning on AI works in general is that we feed a bunch of data to the AI slash neural network and hopefully using that data it learns and gains experience on how to do whatever it is we want it to do and hopefully make accurate decisions. The data we feed into the neural network are called the inputs while the decisions the AI makes afterwards are called the outputs. In our case, our inputs are simply the y position of our bird and the distance from the bird to the current upcoming pipes while our output is simply whether the bird should jump or not. So to do this, we're going to be using an algorithm called NEAT which stands for, wait hold on, Neural evolution of argument in topologies. The algorithm uses something called procedural generation, where each generation randomly generates and connects nodes in the neural network to so essentially find the best possible architecture to go about the problem we're trying to solve. Each generation contains a population of at least one player, and then it figures out how well the players are doing using an evaluation called fitness. And the one that does the best for that generation, it creates copies of it, and that will be the population for the next generation, and it just keeps on going until the AI gets pretty good at what we're trying to make it do. It has been proven that the more population there are in each generation, the faster the AI will learn. 
Due to how simple the game Flappy Bird is, it probably won't take the AI too long to learn how to play it perfectly. So I'll just make the population for each generation to be 10. That should be enough. to still going to 